Uh, welcome back to Charlton Sports Weekly here at Anytime Fitness. Um, I said normally in this section we talk about the Braves, middle school Braves, and how they did, but they were scheduled to play yesterday down in Hilliard, and I guess the range was too much maybe for their field down there, so they ended up canceling that game. So. Yeah. That field's uh, kind of high in the middle, Glenn, but on the sidelines it probably was uh, like a pool. So, well, I remember uh, a couple of years ago when <coughs> here we were the high school was scheduled to play here, mm-hmm. and they ended up playing a home game here in Folkestone. Yeah, I remember that. Because of that, but anyways, the game has been rescheduled for Folkestone now, so you don't even have to go out of town to watch them play. They're going to play tomorrow at 5 o'clock at Indian Field. So, missed, it wasn't going to be able to see them Tuesday. You might get your chance on Thursday now. That's right, yeah. Um, like I said, they'll play Thursday at 5. And then next week, they're going to play against uh, St. Mary's Middle on Tuesday here at Indian Field also. So, that was who they scrimmaged against. The, right, and, uh, before the season right, started. Right, so. And they were beaten by them, so maybe... Get a little redemption. That's right. Execute some redemption. Get it when it counts. That's right. But like I said, we'll have, hopefully, results of both both Braves games next week. Um, We'll move on to some uh, girls softball with the JV girls. Um, They played their final game of the year uh, last Thursday against Clinch County. And they squeaked out a 9 to 8 win. Don't matter. A win's a win against Clinch That's County. It. That's no. all. If we're going to beat anybody, I'd rather beat Clinch than anybody. That's right. Um, I was told uh, Marissa Gowan and Natiana Reed both had two hits in the game. So, And uh, Rivers King was the winning pitcher. So, She's probably going to be one of the... Yeah, pitchers, Riv- the pitchers of the future. So. Yeah, Rivers is uh, has got a good arm on her, and she's left-handed too. Right. So uh, those girls get a different look picking the ball up out of uh, out of her her hand. So, uh, but she's been a good pitcher since she was in rec league. Though I remember her in rec league, and uh, that doesn't surprise me that she's continuing to do well on JV. Right, because the varsity maidens are going to lose their main pitcher next year. So. Somebody's going to have to step up, so you never know. It might be yeah, her. Yeah, it may, be, may have to be her. Um, as far as the maidens go, they had a, they've had they had a busy week since the last time we saw y'all here. Uh, Thursday, it looks like it. <laughs> Thursday they played here at home against Clinch County, and we just pretty much owned them. Eight to nothing, five innings, run rule, game over. Back to Homeville. That's right. Get on the bus and go. Don't even stop on the way out of town. That's it. Give you, give your money to somebody in Waycross. We don't want it. <laughs> but anyways, um, then uh, Friday and Saturday they went back to Baconton, Georgia, played in a it's called the Pecan Growers Tournament, which is that's over in your old stomping grounds, isn't it? Glenn? Right, Pecan Growers. That, that's <laughs> an appropriate name because the fields sit right in a Pecan orchard, basically. So, at least they had plenty of shade. That's right. <laughs> um, I said they ended up playing five games over there. They won three and they lost two. So, not quite the success they had the first time right. around over there. But uh, they started out Friday, played against America Sumter, which is a four A four A school. Yeah, right. And <coughs> they were America's was no match for them. They beat them fourteen to nothing. So. That one was over quick and done with, too. Uh, later Friday night, they played uh, Miller County, which is a single A school. Yeah. And I believe they had to come from behind and win that one. I believe they were trailing and ended up winning 7-4 to four in that one. So That's always- good. She good showed some uh, resiliency and come back and, uh, and get the win, especially on a Friday night after you played played one already and after the a uh, heck of a drive over there. I guess by bus, that's probably a good three and a half, maybe four hour drive. Uh, it's probably about three, I would three? say. Depending on how fast the bus is set for. <laughs> or who's driving. That's it. Uh, uh, Saturday morning, they 
played a team called XL Christian out of Cartersville, Georgia. And he talked about making a long ride. Oh, here. that's a private school. They probably had charter buses, Dave. Uh, they had, <laughs> but anyway, they lost their first game of the tournament against them. They just couldn't get the bats going and ended up losing three to nothing there. So. Uh, I guess that put them into the loser's bracket where they drew America something once again. <laughs> and it wasn't much closer the second time around either as we beat them 17-5 to five in that one. That's amazing that uh, that big of a school um, that they don't have any girls playing softball, I guess. Because uh, you know they got the kids there. Um, uh, or either we just a lot better. Right. We just, uh, we got to be a lot better with uh, 12, 1 by 14 Friday night, and then 12 Saturday. And if I remember correctly, the second game only lasted for three innings, I believe. So That's awesome. That was just, I mean, you know, you can beat anybody 17-5. It's a good job. So yeah. congratulations on that, girls. And in the final game, they played against uh, Seminole County. That's who they beat in the championship the first time they went over right. there. I guess it was revenge factor for them, and they... Again, once again, bets weren't going. I think they committed a few errors that gave up a few runs, and we came out on the short end of a 6-1 to score. So, um, Overall for the tournament, Emily Phillips. I mean, she played outstanding. Had eight hits, drove in eight runs. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Brittany Cruz also had eight hits, drove in five runs. One of our most solid players. Right, hit a home run. I think that's first, probably the first one she's ever hit. That was and probably the most exciting moment of her uh, softball right. career. And if it's not her first, she'll probably be the first to tell me. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, got Kelsey Shepard drove in five runs, and Lila Wainwright had six hits. Plus, Lila did most of the pitching. I think she was rested in a couple of those blowouts. Oh, whatever. yeah. Um, Ashton Cruz came in. And actually, I think in the America's game, second game, I think I think Brittany Cruz came in and pitched a little bit. So <laughs> I can't remember. I believe it might have been another pitcher, but you know, why use your number one if you don't need it? That's right. And all those, all four of those girls are solid players and, and have been for a long time. And uh, uh, I believe every one of them is a senior this year, also. Aren't they? Um, I know, I know and Brittany, Brittany and, and Kelsey also. Right. I think so, Ashton Cruz is probably a junior. Right. And Emily Emily Phillips is a senior right. this year. Also Jennifer Barnes is going to lose yeah. her. So. Got some uh, big shoes for the JB girls to fill. That's there. it. What's the playoff situation looking like, Glenn? Uh, it looks, looks like we lost a non-region game to... McIntosh County, and we don't have a score on that. But uh, let's talk about uh, the sub-region. All right, the way it stands now, we are currently in second place, solid, definite second place at least. Um, they were scheduled to play Eccles County uh, yesterday, but it got rained out just like the football did. Um, and they were rescheduled to play again today, so I don't know exactly what the – I don't know if they got to play today or not with the rain going on outside. But I hope they didn't have to drive to Eccles County and get over there and find out that the game was canceled. Well, actually, Eccles was driving over here. So oh, okay. Yeah. It, 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 it doesn't it, matter. It's senior, yeah. it's senior night here in Folkestone, so you know, if, they're, if they're playing now, you know, they've been recognized probably by now. Right. If not, you know, I guess they'll get to it when they, whenever they do play. Uh, but right now, Eccles currently sits first in the sub-region. Uh, they beat us the first time around, hold a one-game lead over us. Uh, we have to beat them by nine runs, I think Coach Baxter told me, <laughs> in order to, to take over the number one spot. But either way, first or second, they're going to host a... Yeah, you get to host a game. Host a crossover game from the other sub-region. Uh, Ones will play fours and twos will play threes. So, uh, my schedule originally had, I think, September 29th as the start of that, but I was told that it's possibly going to be like the first week in October before they play. 
Man. Which is going to be like that, two weeks off before they even get to play again. I hope so. the bats don't get cold. Right. And so I hope, now, as soon as I get a definite date and time of the games, you know, we'll pass the word along to everybody else. But right now, it's, you're not really sure. Don't. I think Turner and Telfair, I think, are two and three on the other side of the region. So. Well, thanks. It was Telfair last year that, that we played here. Right. Why not? Uh, like I said, those two are two and three. If we finish second, we'll play the number three team. So. Well, hopefully we can do them like uh, uh, Seminole County done us and get some revenge and beat them by at least nine or ten runs. Right. But we'll see. If that game's not played today, it, it'll probably be rescheduled for Thursday, tomorrow. Well, no, because or, I remember looking at Eccles has Clinch County scheduled for Thursday. So. Maybe Saturday then. Saturday or next week. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, it's not like they're not pushing for time here. You've got plenty of time. Now. Yeah, two weeks away. But like I said, that will be the last regular season game for them. So whenever it happens, if it's not happening at the moment. So. All right. But we're going to end this segment right here, and we'll be back and talk about some Indian football. 